Damn. Just five minutes. I think he just left and he's fucking caught. Hello? Oh, he's just go get up the road straight. Hello? Hey, Ang, what's up? Hi. Um, I'm um, just a bit, uh, just calling to let you know I'm around. And me and the, um, me and Gloriana will be going to get the materials for, you know, the, the hunting. Alright, uh, sounds good. Yeah, me and Harry are working on doing that right now as well. Oh, you're doing it right now too? Yeah. I saw, I saw four people on the thing, so I was like, hmm. Not yeah. that much competition today. Yeah, it's so, pretty quiet, which is good to take advantage of. I hope you're doing up, okay. I hope you have a nice day. Stay safe. You too, Ang. I'm alright. I hope and, you have a good night uh, as well, alright? You have my support. Alright, thank you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. What's up, boys? Yeah, what's up, Ray? Hey, we got a meeting with Salim. Get your gun out. We might have to clap, motherfuckers, all right? Oh, I just told Salim how much I hated his nephew and how much I wanted to kill him. It was great. I'm sorry, you <laughs> told who that? <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. So Salim walked up to me and asked me, like, if he if I knew about, like, his nephew dying and everything. And I was like, yeah, I didn't really like your nephew. And he's like, what? I was like, I was like yeah. He's like, oh, I guess that makes it's sense. I really like box if you need it. All right, get ready. It's right here. Oh, wait, already? Yep. Is he here already? Yep. <coughs> Good night, Salim. Hello, Mr. Lenin. Mr. Dean. What's up, Salim? How, how are you gentlemen doing? Yo, what's going on, man? What's Guy in the back there. Hey, you doing, man? Hello, hey. gents. Hello, Is gentlemen. You, How's it going? Yes, it Yo, is. what's going on, Ray? What's going on, man? How you doing? Hey, Pina. How you doing, baby? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Could be better, but I'm doing good. It's yeah. good to hear, baby. What's going on? Gentlemen, I don't need to say this. I'm going to assume you already know what happened to my nephew, Basim, yes? Uh, that he died? That he was executed. Yeah, I mean, he died, right? That he was tortured. And I'm not going to sit here and allow you to paint me a fool, Langing. How, how am I painting you a fool, exactly? Andy Jones. Bjorn. They're the ones responsible for this. And uh, based on what uh, evidence exactly? I'm not a fucking police officer, Langing. I don't need evidence to. Yeah, but you're a man with logic, right? We're a criminal organization, and so are you. We don't sit here and act like we're in a court of law. I'm not. A, I'm not part of any know. criminal organization, motherfucker. All right, Langing. We're going to keep this simple. Andy Jones was the one who tortured my nephew, alongside with one of your people who works at your rooster's rest. Bjorn, one of your nerds. And if you're going to sit here and think that your nerds are just, oh, oh, just individuals who work at the roosters, then we're not stupid here. I've seen what they've done. I've seen them point a gun right at Mr. K's head. What, what does that have to do with being criminal exactly? What does that have to do with being a criminal? Langing, I'm going to keep this simple. I told Nino what would happen to the people who were responsible for this. And I could have gone right after Andy, and I could have gone after the nerds. Yet, because of the respect that I have for you, for the time you helped me when I was on the run, I will repay it to you. And rather come and speak directly to you. The one head of the three-headed dog that will bite. And that is you. You think I won't bite? Same. Sidebar. I think you have people who do it for you. Oh. oh we should get to know each other more. Maybe we <laughs> should. But we'll come to find out soon. Listen, gentlemen. I am fueled with rage. My nephew was executed. Shot in the head with an AK-47. 
a two month period. I've spent the last three days talking to everybody and anybody that knew anything about Basim and anybody that was near him. And you know what everything points to? Andy Jones, Bjorn, bringing him from the prison. Oh, and the judges as well. I don't know what grasp you have and what pull you have or your people do, but what I do know is Andy Jones is going to suffer. All right, that's fine. Bjorn, Bjorn is close to that list as well. I, I don't think you're stupid enough to touch Bjorn, Sonny. There are more people at play. I want to know what Bjorn had in Bolden this. So what does that mean? I want to know. From what I understand, Andy on her own is nobody to be feared. But when she has people around her, she is the most manipulative person that exists in this town. She has the ability to talk around somebody and then swindle them into doing what she wants. That is correct, yes. This is what I know. This is why I feel like she's having essentially a third turn, her and her husband. The two that think they are king and queen of this land, where they are not. They are just politicians. All they do is lie. All they do is lie to get what they want. To be fair, you do as well, Salim. Uh, Denzel had nothing to do with this, uh, by the way. So I think you're not stupid enough to go after him as well. You've heard this before, haven't you? A man who has nothing to lose. A man who has lost everything will hurt more than any other man around. I have nothing to lose. I've lost everything already, Langing. You, on the other hand, everyone surrounding you, I think it's different. So what, are you threatening me? You, do I need to, do I need to you. give you something Threaten to lose, Salim? Not threatening you, I'm letting you know. It did sound like a threat, Salim. Yeah, Salim, let me just get this. Are you threatening me? Hold on, hold on, hear the thing, man. No, 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 no. Salim, no, 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 no. He's not threatening you, man. No, 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 I got a simple fucking question that needs a simple fucking answer. Ask, Zen, and you shall get an answer. Are you threatening me, Salim, when you say that? Dean, I had no idea you were involved in any of this. I'm around Lang, and you're sending your friend, your and so is Leslie. threats to people around Lang. And so is Leslie. But with okay, Leslie, I have a simple question. Dead? Are you threatening me? I'm not threatening you. Okay, good. You and your organization, though? Andy, Bjorn, I want to know what they did. I want the full story. I have different pieces. I have a set timeline in my head that I think I understand what's going on. Let's get Maybe one thing straight. I am in no way, shape, or form acquainted with Andy. You can throw her off the fucking uh, off the top of a bridge or a building, and I'm not gonna lose sleep over it. But you are close with Denzel, no? Yes. And what about Bjorn? Tell him if you touch Bjorn, I will kill you. I have no intention of touching him. I want to know what he did. He didn't do anything. He was last seen with Andy after they picked him up from the prison, all right, where he was tortured and brought to autos, Lang. And then they picked him up again, like a dog, she whistled to him. To my nephew, she said, bless him, we have to go. And he hopped up into her emperor, the white and color emperor that oh used to be owned God. by Denzel. Now she owns it. And they drove away, and that was the last time anyone heard or saw Basim. Yeah, so that so sounds yes. to, a lot to me like an Andy problem, right? And Andy and Bjorn, he was involved. I want to know why he was with her. Why was he running around like her lapdog? I'm not too sure, to be honest with you. Then I want you to find out for me. You don't want him touched? Did I go after him? Have I pulled his nails? No. I could have, but I waited. 
because I'd rather speak to you like a man, eye to eye. Well, uh, I don't know what you want from me, Sonny. I'm telling you right now, Bjorn has no involvement in this. Yet he was one of the last individuals seen with him. Yet he is close with Andy and close with Denzel. Lang, I've said it already. Do not think me a fool. Caruso to the Bulls? What the fuck? I, I, I don't know what you want, Sonny. I'm telling you straight up. He's no, He's got no involvement in this. If you want to deal with Andy, real go quick. ahead and deal with Andy. I hear the thing. I hear the thing. All right, real quick. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me get some. Before Bassam died, you know what I'm saying? Denzel was arguing with Bassam, seen arguing with Bassam, beating him up, asking for money. It was 150000 that he owed. 250000 Yeah, he was asking for 250000 that Bassam didn't have. So, a few days passed, and Bassam is over there looking for loans to pay Denzel his money, right? Mm. Then, a few days again passed, and that's when Bassam got fined 500000 and he ain't had the money to pay Denzel. Mm -mm. He ain't have the money. So he gets out of jail, then he gets tortured, right? By Andy and mm. Bjorn. Mm. They, take his, they take his nails, right? And then, once they take his nails, they go to the motherfucking auto autos, whatever the fuck that shit is, and then after that, he's dead. Guys, listen. You're accusing Denzel of this, but you understand that, like, there was a pool party, what, four or five days ago. I approached Bassam uh, with a, a few other people, and I was angry at Bassam. I, I described this to, uh, you know, well, many of you already at this point. Mm. He was probably going to put a bullet in Bassam's head, his own pool party. Because he flirted with your woman. You're going and, to put know, a bullet and, in a man. Yes. And you know what happened, man? You know who called me and stopped me from shooting Bassam? Denzel. Who's that? Denzel said, Ray, I heard what's happening. Don't kill Bassam. He's the deputy mayor. He's very important to me. And you know what I said? Out of respect for my friend, out of respect for Denzel, and out of respect for other people. It's a good angle, I chat. just walked up to Bassam. I, I essentially warned him, and I walked away. Why? This is besides the point. This Listen is not beside me. the point. It's not beside the point. Why, 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 over why, money. Why? Over the money where my nephew was terrified. Yes, over Denzel, who had money, $20 million yes. in the state account, is going to kill a cocksucker over some cash. His state account, is that his money? Can he dip his fingers into it whenever he wants to pay his own bidding? No. I, I, I'm sorry, do you understand you the occup no. occupation uh, he holds right now? His yes, title? The mayor. Yes, it, does that mean the state's money is his it, money? It's not very hard to embezzle money out of accounts, Salim. Is that I know. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hey, while we get into that, that's perfect, man. Amazing. Good point that you just made, right? Andy tortured my boy. Beyond tortured my boy. But yo, it's connected to your ass, and it's connected to Denzel. I need some shit. My, my boy's fucking dead, bro. He ain't coming back, man. Whoa, I'm gonna whoa, need whoa. Some. So what do you need? Before I rain hell, man. I'm gonna, need some, I'm gonna need some money. I'm gonna need some business. I'm gonna need some shit, bro. That's mm -hmm. what I'm gonna need. Mm -hmm. Why? Because your bank account died? 100%. Yeah, hell, 100%. Well, then you better get to work or get a job. Oh, I'm gonna get, oh you want to get a job? Well, why the fuck would I pay you anything? Your boy that is connected to you. Then torture my boy, and then he ended up dead, Buddha. So you tell uh, me. This, this is what you are assuming, which is, once again, incorrect. So, so, last, um, listen, no, no, ain't no assuming, Buddha. I know no he assuming. tortured his ass. We know he did. We know it, bro. He did. And he was the last person seen with him, too. We know he did it, bro. I ain't assuming shit. Just FYI, Bassam mm. is, was also our boy. I don't know if you knew that. But, you know, he was as close to us as, uh, as anyone in, uh, in He was Cerberus. a tool to you, Dean. He did uh, this is you again assuming things without literally assuming. any information. Assuming. Without any information. Uh, correct. The past yes. three days I've been going around speaking to everybody and anybody who was any remotely close. And you know why I didn't speak to any of you? Because you're not fucking close to him. Once so again, you are assuming this. To me. I'm not assuming anything. He ran uh, your Yes, books. you are, Sonny. You saw, he hung out with Leslie and he did his books. What is he to you? Uh, uh, ba Bassam, ba Bassam's never touched any of my books, nor, nor was he my accountant. He we had a lot me. of... Uh, he touched Leslie's. He it doesn't matter. Him. I had a lot of private business with Bassam. We were very close, actually. We were working on a lot of big things together. Mm, mm. Listen. I've said it once. I've said it enough times. Quit trying to paint us a fools. I don't have to I try have and do that. Vision. I have it. Lang. Don't make this worse than it is. 
Think about your businesses. Think about your employees. Think about everyone who works under you in all your many businesses. So now you're reverting back to threatening me, thinking this is a smart take thing. Take that as a threat. Take it as a threat? Okay, Sunny. So yeah. Hope no one's going to bed anytime soon. I don't think they got the balls. They don't have balls to do shit. I mean, we knew this was going to happen, right? Sometimes it well, they threatened like us two times. I mean, you cannot blame them for threatening us, okay? The situation is fucked. The only person that should be out there is Andy, to be honest. Huh, motherfucker, the thing is, there's no way to hide the fact that Bjorn was with Andy. Yeah, he's literally the prime suspect that literally right. everyone in the entire city knows at this point. But Bjorn is so easily manipulated. It, it's not hard to get Bjorn to do whatever you want. But the problem is, it doesn't matter if he was manipulated, it's the fact that his involvement is there. That's what they're angry about. Correct. Even if we told him that he was manipulated, the minute we confirmed that he was actually involved, he got exactly what they want. Exactly. I think Lang did a good job there. He didn't confirm anything, he didn't say anything, he just said to the, the truth that they... Uh, uh, that they only know at this point. That Salim knows that... Peanut knows if anyone else in the entire city knows. Unless you're the police at this point. And we're lucky that he doesn't assume that Zal killed his ass. We are lucky. Yeah. I thought the angle that I put up with the uh, Denzel stopping me from shooting. Oh, that was a good angle. That was a good point. point. But the, the thing is that was true. It wasn't even a lie. But... Obviously, I can't believe this all happened. Damn, this shit's fucking crazy, to be honest. This shit is fucking. Yeah. I mean, we knew this was gonna happen, so now just, we, now we just knowledge. have to deal with it. Our, our only hope is that Leslie speaks to Salim, and uh, I, just, I don't. I, I honestly don't know what the fuck we do.